Hi friends, this is Dr. Kriti Patrikar from Samarth IVF Centers. I work as a chief embryologist. Today's topic is embryo grading and subsequent blast cultures. So we get lots of queries about ma'am, let's do a blast culture for us. But then as an embryologist, we can or cannot suggest otherwise. So let's know why the day 3 or blast culture is suggested. So when we retrieve gametes and incubate them in the labs, day 0, which is the day of fertilization, where the sperms, which is male gametes and male nuclei, and the side, which is female gametes or female DNA, embryo ko contribute karta hai, will come together and they will form one embryo. Day zero, on day zero. Then on day one, hum log dekhenge ki it will go to a two cell stage jaha par all of the embryo has converted into two different beautiful cells. Is mein embryo size badta nahi hai, jo u side ka size hai, wahi rehne wala hai. The only change will be the cleavage. The division of cell, जहाँ पर दो से चार, चार से आठ और आठ से मरुला और day five पे blast stage देखने को मिलता है हमें। तो अब हम देखते हैं कि क्यों हम grading करेंगे, कैसे grading करेंगे और grading करने के फायदे क्या हैं? ये देखा गया है कुछ studies में जो कि recently आए हैं कि embryo grading will subsequently affect the ongoing life pregnancy, the birth, which will subsequently lead us to the child. Aye, chaliye, dekhe, grade one kese hote hai. Grade one embryo, jo ki even size rahega jisme cells ka, jisme fragmentation kuch nahi rahega. Fragmentation ka matlab hota hai ki jo cell embryos me jo cell banenge, wo chote chote pieces apne साइटोप्लाज्म के बाजू में निकाल देते हैं, जहाँ पे प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस नहीं हो पा रहा है, जो कि आगे ग्रो नहीं हो पा रहे हैं, वो सारा वेस्ट वो कचरे के जैसा बाहर निकाल देते हैं। That is known as fragmentation। तो ग्रेड वन एम्ब्रियोज़ आर एम्ब्रियोज़ जिसमें सेल इवन साइज़ हैं, ब्यूटीफुली सेम साइज़ सेल्स हैं, साइज़ फिर भी सिमिलर्स हैं और नंबर ऑफ़ सेल्स इवन ग्रेड थ्री एम्ब्रियोज़ आर द एम्ब्रियोज़ व्हिच हैव लिटिल वर्ल्ड हाईर फ्रेगमेंटेशन से 25 टू 50 परसेंट स्टिल ओके एम्ब्रियोज़ एंड ग्रेड फोर एम्ब्रियोज़ आर द एक्चुअल द पूर एम्ब्रियोज़ व्हिच विल हैव हाईर फ्रेगमेंटेशन अनइवन सेल्स � very uneven. This grading system pertains to the day three embryos where we will either grade the embryos one, two, three or four. Four is very poor. We, uh, if we have a choice, we'll leave them out, we'll discard them or we'll keep them for incubation to see whether they can lose away the fragmentation and they can come up with the uh, lots of act cytoplasmic activity which is going on and they can cope up with it. Otherwise, we'll discard these grade 4 embryos and we will pull out the grade 1 and grade 2 embryos for the transfer or cryopreservation for the further cycles and we'll keep the 3 and 4 for further incubation to see whether they will go ahead. But in few cases, we'll not get 1 or 2 because uh, it will depend on the age of the patient, the hormonal profile of the patients, the male factor if it is there, what are the reasons, whether the, it is explained or unexplained infertility. So lots of factors will come into play when we'll grade the embryos. So in cases we are getting good grade one embryos, we are transferring those, we are keeping those, and if we are not, unfortunately, we have to transfer the grade 2, 3, in some cases, grade 4 embryos. Now, the question comes, 
why are we transferring the embryos which we are grading as poor say grade 4 grade 3 because if we don't have a choice and in cases where uh, they seem that in vivo the conditions will change for an embryo and it can give a beautiful life birth instances where it can grow into a beautiful baby so we give our chances to implanting and to subsequently transfer them now let's come up to the day 5 transfer or the cell stage the embryo stage which is known as a blastocyst where at day 5 a, a cavity formation is seen in a embryo and there are three parameters which are to be observed this is the cavity expansion the icm and the trophectorum now the embryo grading at this stage gets little bit complicated in terms of a uh, um, person who is not an embryologist because the grading will be like 1 to 6 in terms of the cavity a to c in terms of the icm and 1 a to c in terms of the trophectorum the embryos which are chosen for transfer are 5a 4aa 6aa and 4AB, 5AB, 6AB or 5BA, 6BA, 4BA and 3BA and rest all are non-viable embryos and are not transferred. So now let's learn why day 3 transfer is preferred over the day 5 transfers. So uh, friends, when we have uh, uh, oocytes which are large in number many in number then we can think of blastocystis culture because it has been documented that 50 percent of the uh, embryos which are formed on day one will not go ahead to the blastocyst stage so in cases where the oocyte number is less the patient age is more or the ovarian reserve is poor then because we are not getting too many embryos at the day one itself we might not be able to have a chance to keep them till day five to see the progression since embryo grading is subjective it depends lots of time on the experience of the embryologist solely the embryos can be graded into excellent good average and poor the studies show that the good and excellent embryos will result into 50% life birth while the average will turn into a 42% of life birth. Poor embryos which do implant will result into more of a recurrent pregnancy loss and will result into only 25% of life birth rate. So we have to take our chances where no embryos are there which are of good or excellent or average. We can take our chances on the poor ones. To gather more information on the subject of infertility, please visit our channel Samarth IVF. Thank you.